Okay, and we are recording. All right, this is going to be the third class. Um, we're going to start with shadow boxing like usual. Today, we are going to add elbows and uppercuts. Okay, we're starting to add the non punching stuff, the elbows. Um, we'll get through that as we cover the shadow boxing. We'll do five rounds. Um, after that, we'll do jump rope like usual to finish warming up thoroughly. And then we're going to do an ab workout. Okay, so that's what we're going to do for today. And that's the third one. Um, if you're seeing this one first, go back and see the other two first where I explain jabs, straights, hooks, and footwork, and all that. And we do some cardio and a push up circuit. Um, yeah, that should be it. So let's go ahead and get started and continue from where we left off. If you haven't seen the first two videos, watch those two first so you're not lost and I don't have to re-explain things, all right? All right, let's get started. Here comes the bell. I am actually have my music today, and we'll see how it sounds. I tested it on a short little video before this, and it sounded all right. So hopefully it doesn't sound too bad. All right, here comes the bell. Uh, it's raining a bit. By the way, um, the rounds we're doing are two-minute rounds. As we get in better shape, I'll increase the time on the rounds. And right now the rest is almost a minute between rounds. As we get in better shape, I'm gonna lower the rest too. And there's the bell. All right. Ugh, my legs are lazy today. Start by working your footwork, okay? Move around. Remember the important thing is not to cross your feet, right? Do not cross your feet. Here, here, and switch. And since we're just doing the class to work out, I'm not going to be a stickler about sticking the orthodox or top top, like I mentioned in the last few class. So you want to move around from orthodox, that's fine. If you want to move around from top top, that's fine. Okay? Top top is lefty, or top is right. All right, now that we're starting to move around, let's go for jabs, okay? Let me begin doing it. Jabs. A little bit 30 to 40 at each time. Relax, easy. Remember, it's a linear punch. Travels in a straight line from right back to the jaw. Nice, relaxed warm up. Good, switch sides. I was just in the top one, now I'm going to go to the back. Technique, 
Okay, let's actually do a combo. We're gonna keep doing what we're doing. Jab, straight, then add the left hook. Then for the left hook, all your power comes from the left side of your body. Leg, hip, shoulder. You just do one side here. Right? So one, two, three. 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 Guys, out. One, two, three. One, two, three. Face step in your right hand. One, two, three. 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 And there's a bell for round two. Be more. Okay, so we reviewed everything except for the power hook. We're gonna do that and then work on elbows and go to uppercuts. Ah, my heart rate's getting up nice. It's getting warm. Just in those two rounds, I've already done about 600 steps. I'm gonna try to do at least a good two to three thousand steps every little half hour workout. All right, so we're basically gonna put together all four punches, you know, for the next round. And the second half of the round, start with elbows. Jab, straight, left hook, lead hook, right. This is a more of the top, okay? Left, right, left, right. With your left leg forward, and your right leg back. So, one, two, three, four. Jab, straight, hook, hook. One, two, three, four. Alright? One, two, three, four. Do that a few times. When you're done, switch to top. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two more, two more. Then we're gonna start with elbows. same exact concept as hooks, right? But instead of throwing here, you're gonna bring it in like a little chicken wing. And as you bring it in, instead of the fist being the point of contact, now it's the elbow. So same concept, boom, but instead of being here, you bring this in. So now the egg elbow is exposed and that's okay. Same thing from this side, okay? So boom, bring it in, elbow here, okay? The main difference between elbows and a hook is range. If you're further away, I'm gonna throw the hook. But see how I'm reaching all the way over here? If I turn to an elbow, I'll sit in my range and come off of this. All right, so it depends on range. If they're far away, hook. If they're close, elbow. If you're trying to throw a hook and they come in on you, turn it to an elbow, all right? So let's try that same exact thing as a hook. Just keeping your hands on your chest or near your face. Here, 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 here. Okay, you want to keep trying it during the break, that's fine. Now, there are other angles with which to throw elbows, but we'll cover that later. Right now, we're going to keep it simple by relating it to the foot. Here, notice the full body motion, okay? This is how you throw elbows from south pop. All right? Remember that, we're gonna have that in the fourth round in a bit. Elbows are devastating. <laughs> Very devastating. Far more power, they cut people more, and they hurt more. But they're shorter range. So short range, ooh, elbows are nice. I remember, I think my second or third cage, my booty is 30 something stitches from one of my elbows. They're brutal, they're brutal, they're just one. All right, here we go. Let's make it into a combo. You're gonna go double left, okay? Doing from orthodox stance. Jab, hook, and then right elbow. So jab, hook, right elbow. Jab, hook, right elbow. Jab, hook, right elbow. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Start up slow so you get the hang of it, okay? We're going to stop on her. Boom, boom, left elbow. Right jab, right hook, left elbow. Here we go. Ah, ah, ah. 
Play with it, okay? Just don't throw the pure arm. Don't take the whole shoulder. Here, the straight of the hook will go in. There's an uppercut, open right up the middle, okay? You're gonna go right up the middle, right up the pipe of the which is here, okay? I'm look, looking at what I just did. See how I'm doing the uppercut and looking at my screen and I'm hitting my head? When you guys are doing this at home, aim for your own head, okay? Start getting the hang of the accuracy. All right? Accuracy is very important. So, same thing, because it's coming from down here, like a hook on the bottom. There's a lot more techniques to it, we're just keeping it simple for now. It's just here. Here. Okay? Here. This is the power hook. Power up a cut. That's for you at the end of the punch. You see my back. Okay? South off. Here. Here. Right? For the lead up request, actually, I think more technical and difficult than the power one. So just do this. Okay? If you want to drop your leg a little, you give them more power, that's fine. So just punch up. South pop, towards the dock. Alright? It's basic upper cut technique. I think it's a little complicated of three, but we're keeping this simple just to get a workout. Alright, here we go. So we know our jab. Throw five of them towards the dock. Five of them south pop. Good. We know our straight, our cross, our power punch, the linear one. So five, four of them from orthodox. One, two, three, four. So five of them from south paw. One, two, three, four, and then four. All right, lead hook. Four, one, two, three, four. That was orthodox. Four south paw. One, two, three, four. Power hook facing this way, orthodox. One, two, three. Four, south paw. One, two, three, four. Good. Uppercut. Power. One, two, three, four. Now there's a dog. South paw. One, two, three, four. Good. Knee one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Four. Good. Elbow. Elbow. Okay. We're going to do left, right, orthodox first. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. South paw. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice. That was four from each side. And we've covered everything we've learned in three classes. Good. Good. Next class, we'll start adding these. And then we got time kick. And that's the end of round four. So, let me pause the timer. Hopefully that glare isn't too bad. It doesn't look too bad though. You can still make out where I am and what I'm doing. It's just the background is bright, but you don't need to see the city. It's not like you're gonna start to see the city. Um, jump rope, right? Two rounds of jump rope, get ready. And then we're gonna do abs after that. Gotta lose that quarantine weight. All right, getting ready. Wipe off your sweat if you need to, like I do. Get a quick sip of water like I'm about to, because all the talking makes my throat dry. Turn this on. Hot in here. And get a sip of water. We're starting in about 30 seconds. Get ready. All right, 
Here comes the bell. Ooh, it's for last. Use two towels or a rope or something. Remember, on the downward part is when you jump, so when it goes down, right? You gotta start getting the hang of getting our timing down. Timing is super important for fighting or just about any other sport. Dude, timing is super important in life too. But anyways, here we go. Two rounds of jump rope. Rhythm, timing. In the next week classes, I'll make sure you do one or two from outside. That way I can show you guys jump rope a little better. I highly recommend getting one. Great cardio. You don't have to go outside because it's cold. You don't gotta buy a treadmill. All you need is a little five, ten dollar rope. You get a good workout. I think some of the most weight I've lost, the fastest shape I've ever gotten in, is when I do a lot of jump rope things pretty close like. When I say a lot, I mean about 20, 30 minutes a day. You're not gonna be able to do all that straight. So break it down into rounds, one minute round. Two minute rounds, three minute rounds, or whatever you're able to do. Start with only about five to ten minutes a day and take it up from there. One more round. One more round. And that'll leave about ten minutes for abs. We're gonna do an easy at workout. I say easy because it's gonna be easy compared to what we're gonna do eventually. But if you don't do abs on your own regularly, it's gonna suck and you're probably gonna get sore. It's gonna hurt the last. If you do abs regularly, it'll be a nice little warm up. If you do abs regularly, you can double the rest if you want, triple just to get a better workout. There's the bell for round two. Doing good, doing good. Rhythm, relax, move. You wanna get up quick and okay? You wanna increase the speed. Sometimes if we don't have enough time, I'll do the first few circuits with you, and then I'll explain what to do afterwards in your few minutes, half an hour. Okay, let me point this down a little bit more so that we can have a school there as well. Alright, so eventually when we do abs, let me turn the timer off. Eventually, when we do abs, more, we're gonna use equipment, ankle weights, ab wheel, stuff like that. But today's simple, basic. All you need is yourself and your body and gravity. <laughs> All right, let's get started. So, so we're gonna start with simple, basic, easy crunches. I'm gonna show you two different variations of crunches. You can do whichever one you prefer according to the kind of shape you So, normal crunches, legs stay here, and the side of your head, okay? Don't actually put them underneath. You're going to be tempted to want to pull up with your hand. That's just to your upper body pulling And your arms pulling your upper body up. You don't want that, okay? It'll be too easy. Plus, it'll strain your neck. So, put them just at the side of your head. Don't actually touch your hand. Now you're going to be tempted to pull them. You're going to come up in your neck straight. You're going to bend your neck here, here, here. Right? Make sure your shoulder blades come off the floor. You know you've gone far enough up in the movement when your shoulder blades come off the floor. Don't just move your head and be like, I'm doing it. Shoulder blades, okay? Get your whole upper back off the floor. Here, here. All right? 
we're gonna go for 20. Inhale and exhale with every single repetition. Do not hold your breath. Inhale, exhale, every rep. If you do crunches regularly, you can make it 30 reps, 40 reps. Don't go below 20. Now, if you wanna make it a little harder, you can incorporate the leg. Crunch mostly works the upper half, so they will incorporate the lower half as well. What you're gonna do is stick your legs out. 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 You're gonna do that motion as you do the crunch motion and get your knees to reach your elbow. All right? So you do one, two. That's if you want to do the harder variation. If you're not, you can just stick to it. Alright? I'm gonna do we're gonna do two two rounds of this. I'm gonna do one here. And one like that. All right, just in case you see both variations. All right, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 19, 20. Good. Good. I'll give all of you a few extra seconds in case some of you are doing extra reps because it's too easy for you. Or in case some of you never do abs and it's just too much burden for you. Right? We're going to go to the second set in about 15 seconds. So afraid. You know, it's got to be physically ready. You have to mentally ready. It's going to be tough. Now I'm going to do the variation with the legs going in and out. Right? Here we go. 20. 5, 4, Three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20. Good. If some of you are feeling burning in your neck muscle, that's normal, okay? You're normally your your spine and your skull just to pump your head up. You don't really feel burning from the muscle. Right now your muscle are actually cool. Also, if you do the back variation, you might feel some burning in your upper thigh. It's normal to you. Okay, second exercise. So we just did upper abs, now we're gonna do lower abs. We're gonna do swimmers, right? Put your hands at the side of your body. Here, hands, legs, straight. Right? Do not bend your legs anymore. You have to bend them a slight little bit. You're not too flexible, that's fine. But try not to, okay? Try to keep them as straight as possible, all right? Don't let your feet touch the floor. Right? In the air the whole time. Now what you're gonna do is one leg is gonna come up as high as you can. Now this one is very oh, I gotta blow my nose with analogy. This one is gonna depend a lot on your flexibility. If you can only come up this far because you're not so flexible, I think because I haven't stretched at all for the last seven months, that's fine. You go back down. If you're very flexible, you get this leg all the way over here, awesome, even better, right? Go as far as your flexibility allows you to, and don't bend your knees a little bit if you have to, okay? And we're gonna alternate, that's right. Let's do 30. 15 with our left, 15 with our right, okay? So this is what they actually look like. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Just a little closer. Four, six, six, seven. regularly and it's too easy, add more reps, do 40 or 50. And if you want to add ankle weights, great way to make this harder. A lot harder. All right, here we go. Lower abs. We're going to go start for 30. 
five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, five more, and thirty. Good job. Okay. So we should be able to finish up right on time. We got a little lower three minutes. So next, we're gonna do obliques. We did upper abs, we did lower abs, now we're gonna do obliques. So get your heel as close to your glutes as possible, right? As you're doing this, your feet are gonna tend to wanna wander away, or your body's gonna push, be pushed away from your heel, like so. In order to stop that from happening, keep your core and your abs really tight, right? Really tight. If that's happening, you're not squeezing hard enough. All right, now what we're gonna do is, you're gonna touch your pinky toe, right? Not your ankle, not the middle of your foot, your pinky toe. That extra few inches of squeeze where you get a lot of benefit from, okay? You're gonna touch your pinky toe on each side while keeping your head off the floor, okay? So here, you're gonna go pinky toe, we're gonna go to the other side, pinky toe, right? And that's one on each side. We're gonna go for 15 like this liberty. I'm only gonna count every other rep just because I can't talk that fast, okay? And I'm trying to explain things at the same time. Here we go. 30. And two, four, six, eight, ten. Make sure you reach pinky toe, okay? Not your ankle, not the middle of the foot. Really make those openings. 20, 20, 10 more, 10 more. Don't forget to breathe. Make sure you breathe. And last four. Woo! I will learn it. Remember, if you do abs regularly and it's just too easy, add some reps. Don't cheat by picking up your feet off the floor like I am. Keep them down. Also, I've got a lot of students doing this. Don't cheat by leaning up against the wall because then your abs aren't holding your legs in place. It's the wall, right? One more, one more, we'll be done with that. Last one. Like I said earlier, this is a very easy, basic ab workout. <laughs> if you don't do abs regularly, you'll probably get sore from this, okay? If you don't, it'll give you a nice little warm up. But we're starting easy, the first time, okay? We're all out of it right now. This crazy part. All right, last one, here we go, 30. And two, four, six, Eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 10 more, 10 more, we're almost there, 10 more. Make sure you reach that pinky toe, all the way. And 30, let's do 10 more, let's do 10 more. Doing good, doing good, keep going. Make those abs work. And 40, good. All right, so there's a little easy basic ab workout for you. We did three sets of each. Normally when I do abs, I do, uh, I don't do like three sets of this stuff. Three sets of this stuff. I actually did two sets of each. I like to mix it up into supersets or circuits, which would have been crunches, swimmers, toe touches. That's one circuit. And then we start all over from the first one. And I also don't like to rest that much. That. We rested a bit today, a little more than I would have liked, but I was explaining a lot. Um, but just warning, the next time I'm probably going to do it that way. I just wanted to get it done quickly. Um, uh, if that was too easy for you, like I said, add reps or circuits. Like right now we just did two sets of each. If you wanted to do three, four sets of each, that's fine, right? Um, all this stuff you guys could do at home. If you're bored and you want to work out and you want to take some stress out, go ahead. All right? Um, if your goal is to see your abs, then people have a misconception if they do a lot of abs, they'll see the six pack and they'll get lean. And that's not true, okay? I have probably the strongest abs at the bottom gym, not one of the strongest ones. We used to train with this really good pro that was known for his body shot. And he dropped everyone that would train with except for me. I saw the little chunk of doing the absorb this pack, but it was mostly that strong abs. I do a lot of abs. Right? It's like body armor, where when you take punches, okay? Muscle armor. And also, remember I told you rotational force is the biggest factor in hitting hard? It, all that rotation comes from your core. 
it helps you punch harder as well. And control your breathing. Controlling your breathing is really important, whether you're working out or fighting or swimming or pretty much anything. You want to get rid of some stress and breathe a little. All right, well, that's it for today. This is the third workout. I'm about to do the fourth one in a bit. We're going to start doing some stuff with the legs, some, some knees maybe. All right, and I think one other thing. And then we'll start with the kicks after that next week. But next class, we're about to start in a bit. So I hope you guys got a good workout. And see you again in a little bit.